Alright guys, welcome to the track guide for Alton Park. Um, this track's really fun. So uh, I'm going to start with the track guide first, and then I'll show you the setup, and then we'll get into the hot lap at the end. So if you want to watch that, then skip ahead, but let's start with the track guide. Right, coming into turn one, look for the board on the left, and once you're past it is about when you want to start braking and turning in. Make sure you make use of that inside curb as much as you can. Sometimes I'll even cut over it on some laps, but uh, not on purpose. And you just, you're trying to do that to carry as much speed as you can without going wide on the exit. Um, track limits is the red and white curbs, so make as much use of the track as you can and run out onto that curb. And then coming through this little bend of turn two and then turn three. And then at turn three, break at the last Pirelli board on the right and try not to cut in too early. I cut in early because um, sometimes you'll understeer quite hard if you don't get it turned in just right. You want a bit of distance between you and the curb and then once you get about halfway around the corner you actually want to like hug the curb basically. Stay in fourth gear for that corner as well and uh, run out onto the curb on the exit. And coming up to turn four, this little bend, it is obviously flat out. Uh, get onto that red curb on the inside and stay tight. If you go wide, you'll lose a little bit of time. And now turn five, the Shell Oils corner. Breaking just after that Dunlop board on the left, try and stay as low as you can to that uh, red curb on the inside. And uh, get on the throttle about halfway around. Very uh, difficult corner to get right every time. Now coming up to the chicane, there's a little grey square on the right which you can use as a reference. Sometimes I'll break later than it, sometimes I'll break on it. Um, a bit varied, but I think on this lap I braked on it. And you want to try and cut over all of these curbs as much as possible. There's usually a bollard on that second curb, but uh, I recommend that you take it out on your out lap or the first lap of the race, because um, you need to cut over that part of the chicane if you want to gain time. You'll lose a ton of time trying to avoid it, so make sure you take that out. And on the exit of the chicane, there's a nice bit of netted track which you can drive on, so you can extend your um, exit a little bit and carry some more speed through that second part of the chicane. Now coming to turn 10, you want to brake before you get to that second red curb because it's quite bouncy here, so you want to brake quite early and turn in really early as well. You can carry a lot more speed than it feels like around that corner if you get used to it. Once you get really confident on this corner, you can turn in quite early and carry a ton of speed through. Yeah, make use of all the track on the exit and stay to the left around here, and I usually delay my gear shift until I'm over the hill. Then stay to the left as much as you can for Druids. I don't really have a braking reference for this one, I kind of just eyeball it every time. So I'd recommend feeling it out for yourself. You can cut over the grass a little bit if you're a bit worried, but uh, ideally you don't clip that red curb and you maintain traction the entire way. And coming towards the final corner, look for the Dunlop board on the left and you want to brake quite a bit after it. Make sure you're turning in tight enough for this corner, uh, if you turn in quite tight or you get over the crest, then that's going to help you with some oversteer issues you might be having there. It's very easy to cause a slide on that corner. And stay tight to the left on the straight to just save a little bit of time. And that's a lap. Before I get into the setup, if you want to download it in the description, it's a lot simpler than just copying it from the video. So you can go ahead and do that. All right, here is my setup. Um, these are the tire pressures. It's not what I used on my hot lap, but these are good tire pressures for the race. If you want to try and replicate exactly the conditions of my hot lap, you'd have to do some tire warming. Um, I think it was on 18 PSI all over. For fuel, I do 19 for the race and 10 for qualifying. And always have TC off and ABS on. And feel free to pause the video and copy anything I have down. But um, yeah, this is a really fun track, I think. You can run it really aggressive and soft on this track, and it makes the track really fun because you can just uh, turn in and, and it'll uh, and it'll stick. All right, we'll get into the hot lap now. But before we get into the hot lap, like usual, I just want to say thank you to all of the channel members. And if you'd like to become a channel member, then it is in the description or it's the join button next to my channel. Uh, it's only one pound, so if I've helped you out in any way with any advice or knowledge, then you can support me like that, but um, yeah, let's get into the hot lap.
thank you guys very much for watching and I will see you all later.